Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn, Greece. In the last episode, uh, we're continuing to try to work on puppeting uh, Padania and Slovenia. It's kind of slow going. We're going to keep on working on it. And uh, we were able to improve the economy a little bit. So we have a pretty decent income at this point. We really need to continue to crank this up. Um, I might actually hold on and let the political power build up. Though I really do want to at least take advantage of Padania. Because we did successfully get a coup there. So... We'll at least throw some stuff at them. I mean, we need to get that up to 80%, so we're going to keep pushing on that. But otherwise, I think we might slow down on Slovenia a little bit. Um, and we had to rescue some operatives. Uh, the Islamic Caliphate declared war on everyone and predictably lost. Um, are we still justifying? No, we, we canceled our justification. I was going to try and get it on that, but it just isn't going to work. Um, and yeah, we're just trying to get research done, pushing through research as much as we can, uh, getting a lot of construction done. Um... We want to, might want to make some adjustments there. And I think we want to try and get some more aviation blueprints stolen from the United States. Maybe. We are going up against the CIA, so it is, uh, it is kind of rough sledding over here. Um... So, we'll see. I mean, we could try also Russia. And we'll see. But actually, let's go ahead and work on this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send... You have an Intel Network Strength Boost, so let's send you over to the U.S. Okay. Let's send... Are the the current person we have building a network in Slovenia? We're actually gonna we're gonna hold off on that. We're gonna move you to Russia and see how that goes. Let's let's see what we can do. Interrogation techniques. Go on that. Oh, and it looks like that we have finished building our spy sets, so we are ready to go ahead and launch those. I'm going to try and put as many of them on a rocket as I can. Like, it looks like we could only put one. Yep, yep. We can only put one on there. Okay, yeah, we have 20 of those in inventory. Yeah. Let's launch all 20 of them and let's see how many of them make it. All of them made it. We did not have any launch failures. Beautiful. That means we have, because I was, I was expecting that we were going to lose a few, so that's why I made some extra spy sets. So, I actually need to build a few more launch vehicles. No, 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 no. We need those 20 factories. Drop this down to five more launch vehicles. Start. Take 40 days. Can I actually now assign a reconnaissance system? 
no, it needs to be greater than 20. Okay. Uh, looks like we have free dockyards. Again, just throw those into convoys for the time being. Islamic Caliph had declared war on... Zarawi? I mean, what are you doing? Yeah, that was just, that was just a boneheaded move. Um, just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. All right, we're gonna continue to expand our asteroid mining operations. I probably want To, well, we'll see. We need to start working on aircraft. We really do need to start working on modernized aircraft. Okay, we are above 50%. So, can we infiltrate the Air Force of the United States? We can try. Let's get... Let's get you. And you. To do that. Let's send you over there to continue to boost that network. We're just going to push it. All right. That's not quite there yet. Okay, so we have... Not in our improved ATGMs. We need mounted ATGMs, so go for that. I think what we'll do is once our, our new attack helicopters are done, we're going to move that slot over to making actual, like, aircraft. Uh, maybe same thing with excavation. We just have kind of a lot on our plate. Trying to get everything up to current standard. I'm gonna keep trying. Let's see. Let's see if they'll take a vehicle package. No, they won't. Alright, what we're gonna do is I am going to. No, no, no. We're gonna pay that down a little bit. We're just gonna continue to chip away at it as we can. No ATGMs. Nineteen Yeah, we haven't actually gotten a better man pads system yet. Um, we apparently need IFVs. Okay. Give me a few of those. Islamic State was puppeted. American Central Arabia was puppeted. Atif was puppeted. Okay, it looks like they just carved that up a little bit. And now what do they just call it? It's the, now the Arab Federation is what it is. Now if we take a look at things over here, we have what? We have the Commonwealth. 
We have the Kalmar Union, which is Iceland, Norway, and Denmark. Baltic Black Sea Union, CSTO. Let me just take a look at the ideology map. Any interesting changes? Not as yet. Lots of nationalists out there. We got our new, well, some of our new units. We need a commander. Done. I need to do something with these guys. I need to do something with these guys. I think what we might do is make another army of... Mechanized infantry? Or motorized. Because these guys are already motorized, right? So if I were to bump them up to being our motorized templates, assign them to this army, give them a commander, which we can't at the moment. We no longer have the effects of bureaucratic drain. Let's give them diplomatic training. Etimos. Stichifite. Etimos pros apohorisi. Uh, we need to give you guys uh, a color. Yeah, that'll do. Old IR systems. That'll let us get... The Suez is blocked. Oh, no. Earlier this morning, the mass of 20,000 container loaded container ship named Ever Given was struck by a strong sandstorm, which drifted the massive freighter into the banks of the Suez Canal. This caused a total blockade with ships on both sides piling up nearby both entries. The Suez Canal's authority, responsible for maintaining the passage, have been scrambling all available tugboats and plan to start digging momentarily. All right, base stability minus 0.1%. Expect the canal to be functional in around two to th five weeks. All right, let's go ahead and get our upgraded man pads going. Uh, how are things looking over in the United States? All right, we actually have a decent network strength. In progress, October is when we're gonna be done infiltrating. How are things going in Russia? They're going, though it looks like it is, it is evened out. A little bit. Okay, let's send another person there. The Suez Canal is clear. The master container ship that has been making a fuss, a fuzz, in the news recently is finally moving. Ships can once again travel through the canal. The fate of the ship is yet to be determined, but the fact that everything seems to work again makes it seem not all that important. A full investigation has already been launched by the Suez Canal authorities to get a better picture of the events. Then you come to the accident, numerous lawsuits are already underway, and this story might go on for years to come. The Egyptian government uh, hails this as yet another triumph. All right. 
That's good. Etimos. All right, let's get you Etimos. over here. And that means we Etimos probably... Current max is 107. All right, well, let's get eight more of those in training. Did I miscount? I must have miscounted somewhere. Um... And I think we're actually going to go ahead and train up a whole nother army of those. So, if we thought we needed to transport helicopters uh, before, here we go. We're now short 2800 ha transport helicopters. Billion. You know what? Go ahead and give. They rejected it. Okay. All right. Now, the other thing that I wanted to do is we need to get some office sectors going. Um. All right. Let's make this area. A big uh, office region. And let's focus on that construction. Pay down the debt a little bit further. There's excavation six. Yeah, we need to catch up on this. Centrifugal spinning. Yep. Liberia has capitulated. Sierra Leone took a state. Armed Forces Revolutionary Council was annexed. Okay then. We made 12 billion from our asteroid mining. One of our agents was killed. In Russia. Lovely. Alright, well, we're going to need to recruit one. Uh, let's actually pull you out of, out of Patania. Yep, the Sierra Leonean Civil War has ended. The Second Liberian Civil War has ended. Turkey attacks our independence from foreign influence. What? Turkey? What are you doing? Well, I can't really respond right now. I need to get this economic boom going.
All right. Uh, those launch vehicles are done, right? Yes, those launch vehicles are in fact done. All right, so launch vehicles, spy satellites, get the rest of them launched. We had one failure, but that will be sufficient. So now we can go over here and we can say, we can set our 0.5 meter GSD reconnaissance satellite system in place. Perfect. It looks like we need more communication satellites. All right. Well, Let's get 20 more launch vehicles and 20 more communication satellites. This is going to impact my construction a little bit, but that's okay. It'll be fine. We're going to need... We are going to need transport helicopters. All right, new agents, infiltration effectiveness, infiltration risk, down. Targeted sabotage, boost ideology, prepare collaboration government, spy hunter. I think we're gonna take this guy. And we are going to start an in, uh, infiltrating the Air Force, the Russian Air Force. Let's get our agents who are available. You and you. Go for it. Financial collapse is a conflict in Djibouti. Okay. We can take an air doctrine. Yeah, let's go ahead and finish that off. There we go. That's done. Startup company for acquisition. Uh, you know what? We'll go ahead and buy that. Between the 80 billion, that's fine. Speaking of spending a whole bunch of money, let's go ahead and crank up the economic boom. Now that's going to be positive 9.9 .9 billion. Hopefully these office uh, sectors help. American counterintelligence has apprehended one of our agents. That's not good. That's not cool. Alright, because we really do need to maintain that. Prevents the loss of intel network strength while the network is inactive. Um, two hundred and seventy days. So we have like two hundred. I don't know, like 195 days for 
Um, it's a problem. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to wait. We're going to wait until the Air Force infiltration is complete. Then we'll send one of these agents to go rescue the other one. And the other one will probably get back on improving the, the Intel network. Bit up. Yeah, when you have really high influence, they get really resistant to, to you doing things that increase it. Uh, as, as you'd imagine, because they don't want to become a puppet state. Every time we get 100 in surplus, we're going to send the 100 to pay down on the debt. They take that once. Like there's no there's no point of targeting the other the other influence. Um Let's go ahead and attack that uh, Turkish influence. Um, I think I have enough to actually hire a commander now. I do. Here's the thing, is that now it's gonna cost 110 to hire a commander. Officer Military Academy, we're gonna to have to... to actually improve that, aren't we? Minimum command power increase. Minus 50. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Military leader cost plus 70%. Starting level of new army leaders is down. Maximum command power. Daily command power multiplier. I think we actually reduce this. Because this is actually going to make it easier for us to get commanders. And it's going to make our soldiers cheaper. It's going to reduce our daily gain of experience, but that isn't a terrible thing. I mean, we're already pretty much done our army experience. We're we're done our air, um, our air doctrines. And if we need navy experience, I can just send the boats out for training. 
I think I'm going to take that. Okay. We got our attack helicopters. So that's top tier. At least as the best attack helicopters that we can reasonably go after. So let's go ahead and start working on our air superiority fighters for the F-5 Freedom Fighter. Because we have a 300% boost on that from stealing the blueprints. So we're going to make our own copy. Essentially. But we're never actually going to build any of those. That's just going to be a proof of concept prototype, I guess. Almost on our commsats. All right, we've got our mounted ATGMs. All right, good. Improved tandem charge, multiple round simultaneous impact. You know what? Grab the multiple round simultaneous impact. Get the, wait for this to get done because we're kind of getting toward the end of the episode. But yeah, we're gonna wait. Oh. We're gonna wait for that to finish, and then we're gonna immediately send out the rescue operation. Man pads. Now we need mounted AD, uh, sub propelled AA. That's what I wanted to say. Alright, we've got you go there. You form a new army, connect here. And we're going to make this like a really, really light pad. Uh, or maybe like just a. That's probably gonna have to be slightly different red, even though it'll be almost indistinguishable. Uh, be fine. Um, and I yeah, we can recruit a new commander there. Go for it. Okay, so there we go. We've completed our infiltration. All right, that means we can now go ahead and rescue our operative. Let's send... Intel Network Strength Gain Factor. Hmm... You get in there. Now, you Steel Aviation Blueprints. We're going to start preparing it. Right? We got to wait for this to finish, and then we should have enough manpower to get that going. Um...
We might want to think about moving that operation back to, like, Germany or France. Because that was a lot simpler. Alright. I'm going to let this destroyer hull finish, and then we're going to go ahead and end the episode there. Now, I am... Yeah, we are manufacturing the top end of the TAC helicopters. Oh, and I need to uh, launch... Oh no, we haven't finished building the launch vehicles yet. details, right. Um, modern 3D printing, and then all right, we have a good destroyer hull. We want to work on cruisers. I do want aircraft carriers. Before we work on cruisers, we're gonna need nuclear reactors. And I probably wanna have those nuclear reactors for... All right, let's work on the surface ship nuclear reactors. Um, we'll get there. All right, but we're going to go ahead and stop here. And we'll continue our... Continue our efforts here for uh, on next episode. So, for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.